All seniors who are interested in becoming census workers can take a short walk over to these computers. Two people were taken to a nearby hospital. They are expected to be okay. Now I want my cameraman to go ahead and zoom in. And Jimmy, the program dives into activities that are better in bed, such as binge watching, reading, typing, and of course, eating. And Instagram is trying out a new idea which you may or may not like. Hundreds of people came out here earlier today to celebrate Dr. King's legacy. And in this morning's Money Watch, the trade war between the U.S. and China may be wrapping up. And heart-stopping moments caught on camera in South Florida as an SUV dangles over the edge of a parking deck. Hey guys, yeah, a very difficult morning here. As you can see, this car over here is completely flipped over. Meet Gordon. He is a rescued 10 year old Italian Greyhound. And Jackie, I've met a lot of dogs in my day. I have one of my own, but I have never met a dog that's so loving and so calm. Can you tell me how to get to Sesame Street? Yeah. Oh, I did it. I like it. <laughs> New York Mayor Bill de Blasio now knows the answer to that question, and it's a resounding yes. North Korea says leader King Jong un has ordered preparations for for a second summit with President Donald Trump. Now there are some incentives. Everybody that comes out to donate is gonna walk away with one of these t-shirts. These waves you see behind me are supposed to reach somewhere between 10 and 13 feet. Brian has a whole team out here. 10 people, make some noise. A special annual event taking place this morning in Ocean City with a special guest speaker. WBOC's Bill Mitch has more from Ocean City. Warren Buffett wants to give somebody $1 million a yes. year for the rest of their lives. I'm right here, Ward. <laughs> <laughs> the city of Salisbury experienced a cyber attack earlier this month that put the police department's network in jeopardy. Pamela Banks did not expect to wake up to the sounds of fire trucks outside her home. When the trucks kept going by and going by, you know, we, of course, rubbernecked and looked out the windows and was really amazed it was their house. A house that was home to a family Pamela's known for years. It's just a somber kind of thing and it makes you reflect on what about us? You know, what caused that? Did the fuel system need checked? Or So it makes me think of what we need to do here to be sure that it doesn't happen to us. According to the state fire marshal, the flames began in a bedroom on the first floor. Three people were inside the home, an elderly woman and two men. The woman and one of the men survived. The other man died. Pamela says she feels for her neighbor, who she considers a wonderful woman. She walks up and down the street, you know, for exercise, and she checks on different people. When the lady down the street was um, had surgery and was sick, she went there every day to take her mail in and help her out. Officials tell us the two survivors are in stable condition at PRMC and are expected to be okay. An autopsy is being conducted on the victim who died to determine the cause of death. A difficult morning and a tragedy this neighborhood won't soon forget. Reporting in Wicomico County, Jennifer Marin, WBOC News, Salisbury. As you know, the census is coming. April 1st, 2020 is Census Day. Jillian Cordoba is a partnership specialist with the U.S. Census Bureau. Our motto for the 2020 Census is to get everyone counted, counted only once and in the right place. A motto that could face a serious challenge when it comes to senior citizens. A lot of our seniors aren't online, so they, they live in areas where there isn't internet service. But a lack of access isn't the only concern. It's also the transition from paper forms to electronic submissions. Well, we're wondering this time because it's all electronic. It's all going to be computerized. That's the, the reason we think that they may not fill them out this time. Arlene Millard was one of the seniors who attended the session. I think everyone should be counted. Her goal was to get informed and spread the word. So in the end run, we're the ones who are going to gain from the funding and for the different programs. I mean, just think of Mac and all the programs that we have here. After the session, the seniors were given the opportunity to apply for a variety of temporary jobs with the Census Bureau. Okay, if you want to apply, let's go ahead and head over to the computers and I'll get you set up. For Arlene, it was a no-brainer. Those of us who can do uh, the electronic part of it or whatever to help those who can, because there are many people who can't, uh, seniors who cannot fill it in, but I'm more than, that's, that's what I would love to do is help those who can't to fill it in so that we are all 
quite of this. Arlene is doing her part, and so is the MAC Center. Well, we're going to educate our seniors that come to the center, put, put information out on our Facebook, our newsletter, our, our uh, email newsletter, and we're going to uh, set up computer, a computer lab at least once a week that seniors can come in and fill in the application, the uh, census forms themselves, and we'll help them if they need help. An entire community working together. Please stop me if you have any questions along the way. That's what I'm here for. To make sure no one is forgotten. I want to be a part of the solution as opposed to just sitting around and doing nothing. Reporting in Wicomico County, Jennifer Marin, WBOC News, Salisbury.